go make your own money. <laughs> that's, all, that's all about it. If it's a way to pay the bills, pay the mortgage, hey, so be it. As long as we ain't bothering nobody, we ain't hurting nobody, the sex tape is in on her. Okay. It's her with it's her with her actual boyfriend. See, so what's the problem? She ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> uh, unless you know she hurting the boyfriend, I got nothing to do yeah, with her. No. <laughs> so far, I mean she ain't hurting nobody, she yeah. just going out there making that dollar. Yeah. But Mama Jones ain't doing that. No, no. Like, yeah. My sex my sex is very exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. You wouldn't understand that. Yeah. Mama Jones, um, what exactly? The Mama Jones for, for love and the ice, I mean, the guy to love and romance. Yes. What exactly can people expect in this book? Um, what is the topic? Because you know the divorce rate is high right now. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep it real. Right. It's all kind of topics. Like, you know, when you go to one, it says, you know, the, the, the guy to love and romance. Is this some of your personal experiences? Yes. Yes. Okay. You know, feminine power, the poom poom runs the <laughs> show, you know. It's different. And then there's things in here for, for the men, too. You know, so I don't. You know, what is romance? Romance is sexy. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. To me, my thing about it, it got really bad. You know, thirsty buckets. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, let me tell you something. I just, to, to believe it now, all the stuff that I have here is just actually me self communicating with um, important. If you don't love yourself, how are you going to love someone else? Yeah. And that's where it starts from. So it's all kinds of stuff. And then there's stuff in there with the men. Like how the men don't actually, men haven't been doing the things that back in the days, like really opening doors for women, coming home with a flower or two. And what do you think is the reason for that? Why is it? Well, as the world started getting this change and started getting a little ratchet, and mm -hmm. a lot of it had to do with the women, and women want to. Want to be equal power with the men, all kind of stuff. Me per se, no, I like saying as a lady, I'm not trying to be equal to nobody. Mm -hmm. Just you know, behind the scenes a lot. Yeah. Um, as a mother, being in the industry, mm -hmm. I know it's not easy. When he had actually went through his rap feuds in the past with perhaps Jay Z and French Montana, mm -hmm. what was your advice to him at that point? What was you going? Well, not only to him, but even even now to even with them. You know, my thing about it is that <laughs> this is a job mm -hmm. that y'all actually made out there where for y'all to actually make money. Okay, it's not about y'all going against each other because that's what white men want anyway. He just wants to want us to kill off each other anyway. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's talk about you. Did some acting. Yeah. It was on Broadway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was called My Big Gay. Yeah, My Big Gay. Um, Italian. Italian way. way. And then did, you play, did you play a lesbian in that or what was the role like? I played the, the priest. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should see my you should see wow. what I had on for the priest. Mm. Wow. <laughs> they all was kinda messed up. They wow. might have messed up. Mm. You know? what, what was that role like? What was that role like? Because have you done acting before? No. I, I'm not I'm not, I'm not a person that can't be really spit. I can't be spit the bus, so that's why it's got a little hard for me. But if you give me the dialogue, I'll work it. Yes. I mean, if Bill Cosby could do it, I can do it too. <laughs> he did his whole show without no script. Wow. Yeah, remember all the shows we used to see, the Bill yeah. Cosby show? Yeah. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't have no script. So he was nervous, he was freezing no, up? No, no, I was happy. I was, you know, really happy and giddy. And uh, a couple of times when I couldn't remember exactly where things went, and one of the, the scenes was a guy came over to whisper to me. And when he came up to whisper to me, I said, well, why are you, why are you whispering? You better go back over there and whisper to that man over there. But that was part of the party. And then after he whispered to me, I was going to say what he whispered. <laughs> so I sat back over there and told him to whisper to the guy. Wow. And then my, my sister was in my ear telling me, no, that was part of the party. You know what I'm saying? She was in your ear. What do you mean she was in your ear? Because I had a Bluetooth. Oh, wow. You had a Bluetooth? <laughs> I had, my ear was high. Look. Wow. Now, I gotta ask you, maybe you know, will there ever be a dip set out? Well, from what I understood, really? they was working with it. There was, there was just yeah. a little surprise, you know. I'm asking the mom now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta ask her, we don't, we're not sure. But, but no, there's a surprise for y'all coming out there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She might be on it too. <laughs> hey, she might be on it too. She might, she might be on it too. I don't know, my son, my son get a little shy when <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. It's your boy Kwame again. I stay tuned to KTV and I appreciate you coming out. I thank you. Definitely, I appreciate you coming out, man. And I say ciao to everybody. Yes.